Hi, Airfun here with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension, and this is a second tutorial in the IR4 project. I highly encourage you to check out this resource when it comes to determining what pesticides you might want to use, especially if you want to know if they work or not. This uh, project basically has a bunch of researchers all across the U.S. test efficacy of different insecticides against target pests, uh, fungicides as well, and also looking at crop safety. So determining whether certain pesticides at two times or four times rate are still considered safe on different types of plants. Now, if you've seen the other IR4 tutorial, I showed you how to navigate some of the actual trial and data from individuals and try and consolidate some of that in your head when trying to determine whether an insecticide works well. If you go to ir4project.org, you'll notice right now there is this box here that's related to uh, current 2020 conditions that are a little bit unique. But this usually is not here. So if you scroll on down, the website might look a little bit more like this. You'll notice here recent research and news. There are these uh, summaries that we're going to see where to access all of them here shortly. That can also be an excellent resource if you're looking for, say, thrips control. So if we go on down, now if you recall in that last tutorial, we looked at this environmental horticulture section here and went through that database and looked at things that worked against western flower thrips. Now if we go on down to resources, you'll see here under grower resources this section that says environmental horticulture. If you select that, that brings you here to the section which talks a little bit about the trials and how to interpret data. And if we go all the way further down, you can see these research summaries, either crop safety trial summaries. So it's looking at, um, you know, certain active ingredients and their safety against a whole wide variety of crops. Or we might be looking at a certain target pest, in this case, thrips efficacy and how insecticides fared well against it. So if we select that one here, you can see here that there is a research summary abstract. So you might get a quick little summary there. But if you go to the Thrips Efficacy Data Summary, uh, that'll pull up the full report. You'll notice here this report is 204 pages. So there's a lot of information there. But I'm going to show you how to get to some of the perhaps most relevant information when you as a grower are trying to decide what insecticide to use. If you scroll on down here, you can see the table of contents. And here it's going to show you some general information if you want to know how these trials were conducted, just a brief introduction. And if you want to start looking at some actual results, either by, uh, by species, all right, we can look at on the species level. There's even um, by genera as well. So if I want to look at groups of thrips, like in general, what works against a bunch of thrips, if you're not exactly sure uh, what species you're dealing with, you might want to look at kind of a broader area. So if we look at, just as an example, efficacy by thrips genera, you can see here uh, there was a total of 79 experiments, 89 products were tested. So that just, again, gives you a quick summary, quick look at uh, some of the results. And you can just read this text here if you want to get a good idea of what worked. Or you can go on down to the tables. You can see here it kind of breaks it down by uh, the, the crop, the person that did the study, uh, how many days after treatment they started to see some of those results, and then each uh, of these different insecticides here with how well they worked. So plus or minus, yeah, you know, it kind of worked well uh, with some control, plus plus being it worked very well, more than 95% control. So you can kind of go through these and look across the rows to get an idea that, say, for example, conserve seem to work consistently well or quite well. Uh, so that can be a really good resource there. Here you can see, um, again, some additional studies. Here is all on Gerberas. And again, we can see an idea. Conserve worked quite well. There's a few cases where it didn't seem to work that well. Now, if we go back to our table of contents, what I would suggest, if you don't want to look at all these tables, maybe you're going a little bit cross-eyed, so you can actually scroll down to efficacy summary by product. In this case, if you're interested in a specific product, let's say uh, you want to know how well Botanigard works. We can hit that, and it brings us right to Botanigard. 
for Western Flower Thrips Control, Botanic Guard provided good control. However, was uh, however Botanic Guard WP was generally ineffective. Little impact was observed for weeping fig thrips. So this gives you a nice quick summary of all these insecticides. I mean, you could basically start on page 150 and just read on down and get a quick snapshot of what insecticides in all these trials worked pretty well and which ones did not. I hope this is a helpful resource for you. There are, again, some of these summary reports for some others. If you scroll back to some of the earlier materials in 2019, you'll find ones for mealybugs and scales and for spider mites and some of the other very common pests. So I hope this helps you out to find what insecticides you want to use in your rotation.